डॉक्टर सब साची हाजरा बोर्न ऑन थर्ड दिसंबर 1952 ऑब्टेन पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट डिप्लोमा इन मैनेजमेंट फ्रॉम इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट कोलकाता इन 1973 वेयर ही स्टूड सेकंड इन द ऑर्डर ऑफ मेरिट एंड वाज प्लेस्ड इन इंस्टीट्यूट्स रोल ऑफ ऑनर्स इमीडिएटली देयर आफ्टर ही जॉइंड द शिपिंग कॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया एज अ यंग एग्जीक्यूटिव एंड रोज टू बिकम इट्स चेयरमैन एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर मिस्टर सब साची हाजरा Set. I must thank the National Maritime Day Celebration Committee and particularly the esteemed jury members, chaired by none other than illustrious Sri Michael Pinto, a Varuna Awardee himself, for the honour bes being bestowed upon me today. I must say that I accept this honour, this award, in all humility. And I am extremely humbled because the list of past awardees truly represent the legends and stalwarts of our industry, including late Dr. Sir C. P. Srivastava, who interviewed me for my entry into SCI and whom I consider to be my mentor, late Sumati Muradji, late Vasan Seth, late Dr. Leo Barnes, late my good friend Venkati Sharan. late captain rewadi and the living stalwarts like captain jc anand dr n p tulani k m sheet uh, michael pinto danny joseph captain vanchesh sir i'm sorry i'm just speaking from my memory so i may have missed one or two names i may be excused what i have cherished most during my career is the abundance of love affection and respect that i have received from this fraternity and i must also say that not being a seafarer i really consider it a great blessings that i have received the honorary fellowship from both company of master mariners and institute of marine engineers which actually speaks volumes <coughs> about the broad heartedness of these two organizations i have been accepted by the seafaring fraternity completely openly without being a seafarer so this is the beauty of this community i only hope that till i breathe my last i can remain completely associated with this fraternity and with this sector which is so vital for the national economy unfortunately the tremendous contribution of shipping which is by far the most economic and environmentally friendly mode of transport is not at all recognized beyond our sector people talk of it revolution people talk of telecom revolution but none of these industries can rightfully claim that over a period of more than 5 decades they have been able to reduce the actual cost of service to the ultimate customer which only shipping can we very proudly talk of the india's it prowess of course we should be very very proud but unfortunately very few people take pride <coughs> in india's prowess in seafaring indian seafarers are considered second to absolutely none in the world india regrettably <laughs> india regrettably own less than 1% of world tonnage but india provides more than 7% competent qualified seafarers to the global fleet which is by no means a mean achievement i keep saying this i will repeat once more but for shipping our mother planet earth would have become completely uninhabitable by humanity due to pollution caused by other modes of transport unfortunately these messages we have failed really to spread beyond our sector it is our entirely our responsibility to do so with some like minded friends from this sector we have actually established an ngo called maps maritime awareness program society 
So through this platform and through any other platform where I get an opportunity, I feel also because of the particularly the honor which is being bestowed upon me today, it's my incumbent responsibility to try and spread this message till I live. I must also say that I have never considered my career merely as a job. I have considered it as my true calling, my profession. Whatever I am today is entirely due to my industry superiors, peers, and subordinates from whom I have learned every single day. I only hope I can continue to learn till my last. I have also been very passionate about sharing my learnings and experiences with others, particularly the younger generation, because it is our duty to mentor them. I again hope I can continue to do the same till my last. Before I conclude, I must say that I very strongly feel that everyone in SCI, past and present, is as much entitled to this award as myself because I am an SCI product. Whatever I am today is entirely due to SCI, which has contributed. This great national institution has contributed the maximum to Indian shipping and Indian seafaring. Even today, I am associated with some of the maritime organizations. I would particularly mention about Electrons. And I must say that I acknowledge their contribution to me, to my life, and I would also like to share my award with them as well. Last, but definitely not the least, I would like from my bottom of my heart to thank my wife, who is present here today, my departed parents, they are no more with me, but their blessings is there with me every single moment of my life, my parents-in-law, my children, my son happens to be here, and rest of my family for their unstinted support to me, which only has allowed me to devote myself to my profession, while most ungrudgingly they have shouldered all my family responsibilities themselves. The present government, under the leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister, Honorable Shipping Minister, is taking a lot of proactive measure for this industry. So I genuinely believe that the future of this industry is bright. God bless Indian shipping, Indian seafaring, and the entire maritime sector so that we can march forward and claim our rightful place in the global maritime arena and let India emerge as a significant maritime player, which will be in keeping with our very rich maritime heritage and also in keeping with the fact, I am repeating myself from Admiral Chawla's talk the other day, we must remember that we are but the only nation in the world after which an ocean has been named. On my personal behalf, I offer my sincere congratulations to all other awardees, of course, Captain Karkare to start with. And I thank Admiral Lamba, because after all, Navy and Merchant Navy, we are brothers. We always consider them as our elder brothers. And our seafarers sail across the overseas with the belief that in times of any difficulty, it will be the Navy which will come to their aid. So I really thank him for his gracious presence. I thank, of course, Mr. Deepak Shetty. I thank each one of you for your kind, gracious presence, which has made this day special for me. Thank you, Jai Hind. Today's Gaurav Shali Varun Award हमारे मुख्य अतिथि महोदय से प्राप्त कर रहे हैं श्री एस हाजरा श्री सबसाची हाजरा in appreciation of his sustained and outstanding contribution to the Indian and international maritime sector, the National Maritime Day Celebration Central Committee confers the Varun Award to Mr. Sabesachi Hajra on this day, the 5th April 2016.